Hello, hello. I have another very fun video for y'all. I know everyone's been waiting. <laughs> I'm sure. But so what I thought I would cover today is as a client manager, how I check the Google Ads dashboard. So this is just kind of checking overall progress and make sure that things are running smoothly for your accounts. Ideally, when you're working with accounts, it's I, it's ideal, once again, I say that to emphasize it, that they're, they might have a third party attribution platform that you can also utilize. So Northbeam, for example, Triple Whale, just because it allows you to get an even more thorough glimpse of overall just performance and things of that nature. It's just really helpful, especially for e-commerce accounts. Um, but some, if a lot of times people won't have that though, because it is an extra expense, but then it's also great if they have a CRM that you can also check in on with things, especially just when they're kind of, when it's like a lead gen account, it's really good to have a CRM in place because then that can help you funnel those, um, leads in, and then they'll mark them as which ones worked out, which ones didn't. So then that helps you optimize Google ads further. I just went into a whole different spiel there, but for the sake of this video, we are only, we're saying that, okay, this account only has Google ads. That's the only thing that they have the dashboard. So that's what we're gonna look at. So Monday morning, we're logging on. It's gonna be a great week. We're gonna check all of our accounts, just make sure that nothing crazy happened over the weekend and just that things are on track for, you know, this month so far or, you know, the last seven days, things like that, whatever, however you prefer to go about it. So what do I do first? Great question. So first I'll check overall metrics just in KPIs. So what I like to do is I know what my clients tend to look at. What are those important? Because we've had that conversation of, hey, how are you judging performance? Like, what are your goals? But then you also just know in general, once you start to meet with them consistently, you know what they look at, you know what kind of sticks out to them. If something doesn't look too good, that what they'll notice, things like that. So put yourself in their headspace and look at it, the account that way. So I'm going to show you all one of the accounts that I work on. So yeah, I've set my date range for the last seven days, compare it previously, because I like to see that comparison, but that's just preference. And I know that this is a lead gen account. So what's going to be important for lead generation is just conversions, overall conversion numbers. So I want to check on that. So last seven days, I see that we're across up across the account. That's good. And then I'll take a look at individual things, just make sure that nothing alarming has happened. So I see both of these campaigns are up and then these two, nothing's changed. So I'm, I'm good. I'm not worried about it. And then I also know this client really looks at impressions. That's really important to them. Um, so I'll just make sure everything aligns there. Clicks is important, average CPC. And because I know the client, I'll see that overall CPC increased an account wide about by 8%. So that's nothing too major, but I just make a mental note that it's likely that then when I have my call, when I touch base about performance, that is something that they might ask about because I know them and I've been working with them. So it's just things like that. It's really helpful just to take a look at stuff. So you prepare yourself for what might possibly pop up when you have a call with them or if you email updates to them, things like that. So just do an overall check, make sure that nothing took a severe plummet. Um, obviously there's gonna be you know highs and lows. That's just the nature of Google ads and just overall performance. But if something takes like a major dip, then you'll know, hmm, maybe I should look into that and make sure that there's nothing wrong and it just happens to be like a weird lull type thing rather than oh shoot this is broken you know what i mean so that's why another reason i like to check stuff so that's what i do then my next step is check the budget pacing we'll pop back over here so you know you have your daily budgets assigned to each of the campaigns but what i'm checking the pacing i'm making sure that from the monthly ad spend that you have approved or your monthly budget that's approved by the client. You just want to, you know, ideally what you should be at at the end of every week. Cause you would like map that out beforehand. So you just want to check set, set it for this month so far. And you want to see how much has been spent overall. So I see here that we spent a, a little under 2,500. And I know that's in a good place with the overall budget that we have for that account. But this is just something good to check because if you're overpacing in the beginning of the month and you know you definitely want to kind of pull things back, maybe lower the budgets a little bit. And then if you're underpacing, you know you might have some flexibility later towards the end to increase a bit extra or you might prepare yourself that that is a possibility. It's always better to be, in my opinion, I find it's better to be underpacing rather than overpacing because if you're at, you know, the last week of the month and on average you tend to spend for example, $500 in a week, 
and you have only like a hundred dollars left to spend and obviously like you know okay well then the client might be cool with spending an extra 400 bucks but ideally you just don't want to have to ask the client for more money um, because they would not appreciate that so i find that it's way better to if any situation be under pacing than over pacing but you know what's even best pacing perfectly so just something to check in do that beginning of the week and i also like to do that around the end of the week as well just to make sure before going into the weekend that we're in a good spot and then last is search term relevance. So I'm not gonna show the search terms for this specific account because that would kind of give away a little bit of their, it wouldn't keep things very private for them and I wanna do that for the sake of this video, but you'll just navigate to your insights tab on the left-hand side of the Google Ads dashboard and then you click the little arrow, brings it down, you'll see a search terms um, tab open up underneath that. And that's what I just like to do is when I'm checking that, make sure that the search terms are, as I said, relevant. So for example, you have an account that is a clothing brand and they specialize in women's skirts. And then you see a search term pop up that Google, you know, paid to have that click, right? And it's something super irrelevant like men's trousers. So then you say, hmm, that's not relevant. We don't wanna be spending money on that moving forward. So then you would negate that and add that to your negative um, keyword list. So things like that is what I do on a weekly basis. It's really good just to realign things at the beginning of the week. And also it just familiarizes yourself with the account a bit more, which is always ideal. And that is kind of my little short checklist of things I'll check on the Google Ads dashboard just to make sure that we're in a decent spot. Um, and yeah, okay, that's everything. Bye. Hello, hello. So we're kind of switching up the content this time around. We normally tend to cover all things Google Ads, right? Well, we thought perhaps people would be interested in more of like a client management type video. So walking you through how do you respond 